Haiti and Dominican Republic are going to be well to the north of the center of the hurricane. So if you have family in Haiti or Dominican Republic, they are not expecting a direct hit because the worst of the winds are going to stay well to the south of that island. So uh, just make sure you have that peace of mind because a lot of people <laughs> ask oftentimes yeah, about sure. Dominican Republic uh, because they have friends and family in the area. So if that includes you, uh, they are not going to see a direct hit in Dominican Republic. So an important point to make there. For our concerns, though, <laughs> thankfully, the steering currents are working out in our favor here by keeping this one to the south of our local area. Here's a look at that latest 11 a.m. advisory that uh, Lisa mentioned. 200 mile per hour wind gusts around this hurricane with the forward speed still very fast to the west and northwest at 22 miles an hour. That is really fast for a hurricane. The average speeds is typically between like 12 and 17 miles an hour. So when they're going up and above 20 miles an hour, it's pretty fast, especially in the tropical portions of the Atlantic and the Caribbean, where oftentimes they move much slower than 22, 23 miles an hour. So that's one more interesting thing going on here with this uh, monster of a hurricane. You see on the water vapor satellite to imagery loop here, there's dry air out ahead of it that's being pushed out in the way of the hurricane. Dry air behind it, not, not a whole lot going on trying to penetrate the center. So it will likely hold on to this major hurricane strength for a while, despite the fact that it is moving toward an area of stronger wind shear. As you know, hurricanes don't like wind shear. So as it moves toward this area, of more hostile upper level winds moving in different directions and different speeds. That is why the intensity forecast does have it weakening as it moves toward the west and northwest close to the island of Jamaica. Again, Dominican Republic and Haiti are here. The worst of the impacts from this hurricane stay well to the south of those areas, even though they'll, they'll feel fringe effects as the storm moves toward that west and northwest direction. Here's a look at the most recent really released uh, forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center, and there really have not been very big changes at all when it comes to the movement of the hurricane. Some changes, though, with the intensity forecast as compared to, say, 24 hours ago, expected now to be a little stronger as it moves toward Jamaica as compared to 24 hours ago. But, you know, it's been going up and above its intensity guidance so far, so that's understandable that that uh, change has been made in the intensity forecast as we move toward the area here on Wednesday and Thursday. As you know, the eventual destination is the Gulf of Mexico, but not our part of the Gulf. It's the other side of the Gulf. So there are a good chance that we could have something move toward areas of Mexico after it moves over top of the Yucatan. And even areas like Texas are still in play for some impacts, but at least right now, the expected intensity would be much, much weaker as compared to what it happens to be right now. So we'll continue to keep you updated. This is just an incredibly, incredible organized storm for this time of the year. But again, we have no concerns here locally for any kind of direct impacts. Thank goodness.